Hello, this is Ahura again with another education video. Today we want to talk about the basket trading strategy. We want to see what is the basket trading strategy and how we can use it. In financial markets, everything is about the psychology and money or risk management. When we are trading, no matter the symbol or the strategy that we use, some of our trades ending with the profits and some other with loss. So, what if we trade or we use the basket trading strategy? In a basket trading strategy, our basket can be the mixture of the strategy baskets or symbol baskets. Let's go to the detail and see what are the differences between these two different baskets. So, in a strategy basket, what we need to do is to find four different strategies that they are following different structures. They are not following the same basis to get to the results. For example, we can use EMA crossing strategy, or you can use trend trading, trend trading strategy, or Ichimoku clouds. Or you can use candlestick, for example. They are following the different structures. You can find all of them in our website and our platforms. And all you need to do is to register with the link below this video. So, in the next step, you need to find the four different symbols. If you are trading, for example, in the currency market, four different uh, pairs for different uh, crosses that they do not or they do have correlation. No matter here, when you have the different strategies that they do not have the correlations, you can use the symbols that they may have the correlations as well. For example, you can use Euro USD, USD, AUD USD, for example, AUD USD, or uh, CUT JPY or GBP USD. Uh, CAD JPY, or you can use your JPY. Uh, any, anything. When you are using the different strategies that they do not have the correlation together, then you can use the symbols that they may have a relation or they may not have the relation together. Next step is to divide the total value that you want to trade into these four these symbols. For example, if you want to trade, for example, one lot, you can uh, divide your one lot, for example, to 0 0.25 for this symbol, 0 20, 0 0.25 for this symbol, and 0 0.25 lot here, 0 0.25 lot here. So in, in this case, you just divided your risk, you just divided your possible lose into four different markets. These symbols, uh, they are from different time zones, they are from different economies. So they are moving in different directions, they are not uh, following the same things. Or even if they follow the same way, you have different strategies. So you decided to trade based on different strategies which it means that you decreased your risk already. This is the basket of different strategies or strategy baskets. In next step, let's see what is the symbol basket. So, the next one is a symbol basket. Symbol basket is a little bit different with the strategy basket. In a symbol basket, what we need to do is to select a one strategy. The strategy that you have a better relation, the strategy that you understand much better than others. For example, let's say uh, EMA pricing strategy. I love just this strategy, EMA pricing strategy. You can use any strategy that you want. It's just up to you and it's depend on what you are understanding better in which strategy you feel uh, more free. And then, what is important here, when you have one strategy, 
and you want to select the symbols, you want to choose the symbols that you want to trade with them, you should not choose the correlated symbol. You should select the symbols from different economies, from different time zones, and uh, the, the, the symbols that they do not have any correlation together. For example, if you are trading in a forex market, in a FX market, you have to have, for example, this is just the example, uh, you can find your USD, your USD, and, or US, uh, USD ruble, they are from different economies. Usually, they do not have any correlation together. Or you can find, or you can trade with the COD uh, JPY, for example. I love it. Or you can use or trade AUD USD. As you can see here, these symbols they do not have any relation together. They do not. Uh, <clears throat> they do not move sometimes, they move sometimes in the same direction, sometimes in a different directions, and they are following a different reason, they are following different economies, they are coming from different time zones. And what happens here, in next stage, if you, for example, if you want to trade one lot, same as, uh, we are in the, same as the strategy basket, if you, want, if you want to trade one lot, you can divide your one lot into different, uh, into four pieces. For example, 0 0.25 lot here, 0 0.25 lot here, 0 0.25 lot for here, and 0 0.25 lot for AUD USD. What happened just here? You just divided your risk. You divided your loses, possible loses, in different time zones. And here, what's happening, ha it's happening that if all of them, they want to go to the lose, they are not going at the same time. So you can, if you want to close your position in a lose, you can find the best uh, time zone to close in the lower lease, in the lower lose. Or they are not uh, at the same time. Sometimes when they are one of them in a lose, another one in a profit. So what you can do is to close the symbol that is in a profit and just lower your risk and free your risk in other uh, symbols. This is how you can decrease your risk. Let's see what is the profit, what is the positive, and what is the negative side of basket trading strategy. So, as we saw, the basket trading strategy, no matter if it's the simple basket trading strategy or it is the strategy basket trading strategy, is the money or risk management strategy, in fact by distributing the risk into the different symbols or different strategies in a different time zones and economies. Usually, the hedge funds and investment institute using this strategy. And with the basket trading strategy, they are trying to minimize the risk of investment for their clients. However, as an independent traders or investment or investor, you can also use this strategy. But the only problem, or the only, I can say, uh, the negative, the only negative side of this strategy is that you need to follow too many strategies, or you need to follow too many, there is, you have four or five strategies, you have to be very good on them, or you need to find four or five, or sometimes more, five, six, or even a little bit more or less symbols. So here, this strategy takes a little bit more time than other different uh, money, or money management or risk management strategy. You just need to research more about the different markets or research more about the different strategies. However, since this different time zone, since this more time that you are spending, more research that you are doing, helping you to decrease your risk, your risk will be decreased it will be lower your risk, then it's really worthy to work on that. It's really worthy to spend your time to research more about the different strategies, four or five different strategies, or four or five, six different symbols and the markets. Hope it was useful for you, and see you soon in next videos.